Welcome back to another video, you guys. Today we are at the Reptile Super Show in Pomona, California. As you guys know, if you watch the channel, I am not supposed to even be in this country, but because I had to come back for a short period of time, I brought some animals in, a couple shipments, we've been doing tons of sales, and I arranged to have a small assortment of animals here at the show. It actually wasn't supposed to be a small assortment, but I sold so many animals that I'm down very, very low in stock. But as usual, I'm gonna show you guys what we have on the table. I'm also going to try to escape and get some shots of the show. It is a huge building. I'm gonna run outside and try to get some crowd. So let's take a look at what DM Exotics has at the Reptile Super Show. Okay, you guys, so we're just gonna basically go left to right. We have two Nicaraguan Spilotes, tiger rat snakes. Very long-term captive animals that I have had at my facility in Malaysia. So we have two big boys here. They're actually very well-mannered animals. I have one big Patias carinata male who probably will shed tonight, but a lot of people are already taking a look at it. I also have one female captive bred Drymarcon. This one is a Sonoran rubidus, a white belly, and it's a female. Uh, been in my facility already for some time. Oh, and we have a escapee here, one of the striped phase tentacled snakes. So, buddy, I know you want to venture out. It's not so exciting in there. We have the water is heated with these really nice water heaters that we got off Amazon. So the water's nice and warm and these snakes are super comfortable. So stripe phase, very, very rare. And then the last one over here, we have some captive bred baby toke geckos, little guys. A range of sizes, but for the most part, these are all little ones. So that is going to do it for the expo video. I apologize, I did not do a good job giving you guys a look at the show. I usually send Apple out to do all the b-roll while I'm manning the table, but of course I'm running the show by myself, I'm running the table alone, I'm trying to manage all these things, and of course for me, top priority is to clear this last little bit of surplus, because on Thursday I'm flying out and I'm going to be gone for six months. So anyway, I did my best. I do wanna share with you guys something. I usually don't speak my mind or give my opinion on what other people are doing, but you guys, there is too many ball pythons. It was absolutely mind blowing what I saw. Now remember, I'm not usually the one walking around and filming at these shows. Apple is usually reporting back to me and saying, there's a lot of ball pythons at, th at this expo, but I skipped over them. I didn't film them like you asked me to. So this time it was me and I walked around the show. I probably only got through maybe, maybe half of it. I walked it really fast and it felt like that show was at least 50% ball python vendors. And I didn't see a lot of empty spots in the displays. I didn't see a lot of missing gaps in stacks of cups. I saw buy one, get one free. I saw 50% off. I saw slash prices like way beyond what is normally expected. And remember, I'm filming this on Saturday. Sunday might be the day that people discount stuff. Man, it was it's a race to the bottom. It is absolutely mind-blowing. I don't care if you like ball pythons. 
that there's no problem with that. If you want to keep them, keep them. But you guys, you gotta think long and hard about breeding them because I don't think we need any more ball pythons. I don't know where all those surplus animals are going to go. Now, as you know, I shared some booth space with the rescue and he has a fair amount of ball pythons right now. And I guarantee you that tomorrow, as happens at all these recent shows, at least for 2023, there will be mystery boxes dropped off with more ball pythons and they're going to be absolutely inundated as well. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going to happen, but again, like I said, I usually keep my opinions to myself, but it is beyond market saturation. I have never seen anything like this in my entire time of doing this and I've done this for a very long time. So my thoughts are with the animals. I don't know what's gonna happen. There's going to be a ton of animals going back back home with these guys. There's going to be animals given away for free or who knows what. I don't know where all this stuff is going to, going to go, but it's not looking good. Um, there's a fair amount of crested geckos as well and, and other very common species. And it just is very redundant. And there's a lot of market saturation is insane right now. So that's all I'm going to say about that. I had a great show today. I'm almost sold out. I have like three snakes left. You guys are going to be seeing this video on Sunday. If you're around, you want to come out and see it. It's not a ball python show. There's a lot. If you skip past all the ball pythons, if that's what you're not interested in seeing, there's some cool stuff. There is some diversity. There's some very interesting animals. It's a huge show. It's a huge venue. Prepare to walk. It's spread out over a gigantic building. So it'll take you all day to, to see this show, definitely. But um, great turnout as always. Rami, the show promoter, does a phenomenal job. And um, I was happy I was able to actually make this January show. That was not my initial plans. So that is about it. Thursday, I am out of here. I'm going back to Thailand. I'm going to be gone for six months. I'm reuniting with Apple and I'm super excited about it. This show was the last thing on my to-do list and that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Take care.